Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we are talking about Google trends and more specifically, I'm going to quickly answer a question. I keep getting a lot on my other video and that is how do I use Google trends for market research? So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, real quick video, not too much to go over. So be sure to stick around to the end of the video, but why would you want to use Google trends to do market research anyway? Well, that's pretty easy. No matter what type of business you're running, it's good to know which trajectory the market is going. When you're coming up with new product ideas, if you're wanting to discontinue a product, if you're trying to come up with new content ideas, or you're just trying to stay in touch with your community, whatever the case is, Google Trends is one of the ways that I do market research. And it's all handled here in this website right here, trends.google.com. Check my video description. I'll try to leave all this information there. So first off, if you don't know what Google Trends is, it's basically Google's way of displaying their data. And since they are the largest search engine, they have a lot of data. So the way that I use Google Trends is going to be different than you might want to use it, but I'm going to let you know a few pointers to look out for when you're looking for market trends. So first off here on the home string of Google Trends, you can go ahead and use this search bar right here. Once you're here in the search bar, you just want to go ahead and type in your industry, maybe your product. So for example, if I was selling bread, I might just type in bread and then I'll click on explore. Okay, next is going to bring up this chart. So basically what this is saying is over the past day, there's more searches for bread around six in the evening. Obviously that's not really going to set up a trend. So what I'll normally do is first off, you want to make sure that you're looking in the right country. So if you are working in France, you might want to go ahead and use that country for your market research. For me, I work in the United States, so I'm going to click here. Next, you want to go ahead and choose the time frame. I like to go pretty far out. So let's go five years out and it's going to recalculate. So the search term of bread is basically pretty consistent. So I can see an uptick here. That could be something going on in the news about bread. So there's a lot of data that Google Trends includes. So if you scroll down a little bit, it's going to split it up by subregion. So it looks like the folks in Alaska look for bread more often than maybe Connecticut, it looks like. Also, if you're in the bread industry, you might want to search for related topics. So you can scroll down here. So it looks like Panera Bread is a rising related topic. But if you want to look for the most search, you want to go ahead and click here, rising, and change that to top. So the top searches are going to be related to recipes for bread. And over here is going to be related queries. So rising bread and Fred, I'm not sure what that is. That could be a show. So some of these aren't going to be related, but it looks like artisan Italian bread is on the rise. So if you are creating content around bread, you might want to go ahead and do a video or a TikTok or something like that related to artisan Italian bread, because this is a trending topic related to bread. Now, if you want to see the top related queries, you can click on top. And once again, it's Panera bread, which is kind of related, but not really. But if you look down here, related queries, banana bread is a top related query. So again, if you are in the bread industry, you might want to do some sort of recipe or some write up on banana bread. Now, all this information is from the entire web. However, you can go ahead and categorize this out. So if you click here, you can go ahead and see what people are searching in images. So if they're looking in bread in the Google images, you can scroll down and see the same information. So related queries. So for some reason, someone was looking for an image of Kim Jong-un's sister with bread. So same thing, if you are running a content business, maybe you want to have some sort of article or video about this person with their bread. Okay, so let me go ahead and scroll back up. Another way that I do market research in Google Trends is right here, trending now. So if you are some sort of like a news outlet, here is where you can get trending topics. So this particular topic is exploding right now in the United States over the past 24 hours. This has something to do with politics in the US. So if you're running a news outlet or a content business, you probably want to go ahead and do some sort of video or blog on this person or this person. Now, if you only want to focus on a particular category, you can go ahead and click right here, category. So for me, I don't really work in politics, so I don't really want to include that, but maybe I want to work in business and finance. So I'll click here. Okay. So if I'm doing a TikTok or a YouTube video on business and finance, you can see that Disney stock has surged over the past 24 hours. So there's a lot of search volume on this. So you probably want to go ahead and do a TikTok on that or some sort of short. Same thing here, Lunar Stock, US Mint. Now this is over the past 24 hours. You can go ahead and open that up and do past seven days. Okay, so you can see here Dodge, which is a cryptocurrency, has had over 1 million searches just in the past week. So if you're running out of content ideas, Google Trends is a good way to do market research and come up with different ideas to do videos on. RKLB, Medicare premiums. So there's a lot of different stocks. So the list goes on and on. You can see there's 175 right here that we can pull. So we can increase this to 50 so we can easily scroll right through it. Social security benefits, ASML stock, Coinbase stock. 
So if you're running a content business and you need to pump out content every single day, this is a good place to start. Because if you're talking about, I don't know, maybe Western Union stock, there are obviously people doing searches for that, but not quite as many as Dogecoin or Pepe coin for this particular week. So this is a good way to get in front of the crowd because if there's a million people searching or if there's 20 people searching, who do you want to be in front of? Okay. So once you've done your market research here, you can go ahead and export this information here on this button. Once you click on export, you can download it as a CSV and then you can forward that onto your assistant so they can make content about it. Or if you want, you can just simply copy it and then you can paste it into a Google sheet. Okay. Now, if you come up with a lot of different results like this, you can go ahead and sort this information by clicking here. Now you can sort by the title. You can sort by search volume. You can sort by the most recent right here. And of course you do want to be sure to make sure that you're looking in the correct country that is your target audience. Now, if you want to see more information about one of these trends, you can just go ahead and arrange it. So for example, let's go ahead and click right here, RKLB. Once you click there, it's going to give you the seven day trend or whatever recent trend is. And then if you're going to scroll down a little bit, you're going to see different articles that are showing up in the news about that particular trend. So for example, let's click on Mara stock. So right off the bat, I don't really know anything about Mara stock, but once I click on there, I know that Mara stock is some sort of a Bitcoin mining business and they're in the news because they're moving beyond just mining. And also they had their earnings call recently. So you can easily just click right into one of these articles and then learn a little bit more about why this particular stock or this particular topic is trending. So there you have it, guys. If you're wondering how to use Google Trends to do market research, that's how I use it. Now, that's just one tool of many I use when I'm doing market research. But if you use three or four different tools, you're going to have a good idea of what's going on in the market when your particular topics. So there you have it, guys. Hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel. And I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.